there might be. I have to give like a spectacularly vague non-answer. <laughs> we'll get Kirkman out here to ask you. <laughs> don't ask. Don't don't bring him into it. <laughs> <laughs> So, that, uh, how about this, uh, as far as watching that success, that must be um, exciting to even contemplate sort of stepping into that, that universe. I think it's kind of nerve-wracking. That was my, I, I saw Kevin Feige afterwards, I said, how does Shane Black feel? <laughs> and once you've had the biggest opening weekend of all time, it's kind of like nerve-wracking. But, you know, it's very, uh, no, I, I thought that movie was great, and I thought it was, it's credit to Kevin Feige for like seeing that like sick film, six film arc, yeah. having the kind of the courage of that conviction to build up to that like seven years ago. It's pretty amazing. Absolutely, it's the, the lattice work of it is kind of fascinating the way it all fits together. Okay, we're going to take a couple questions from the audience. Uh, is there anyone? Hey, I was the one who challenged you to the Leonard Maltby game earlier on Twitter. If you would like, you guys would like to play around. I don't know if we got time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's up to you guys. Um, maybe we do it in the parking lot later. <laughs> George Romero. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thanks. Um, well, we, me and Simon are, are, are very much hoping to start doing the World's End soon. Yeah! So, yeah. That's the current plan. That's the but we'll see. And what would you say about that one? Just as... Well, here's a... It's funny, like, there's this thing like sort of uh, Cornetto, which is a, 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 a British ice cream. Here's the, 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 this trilogy that has formed. Was, uh, like I said in a joke in one interview, I can't even remember who the interview was for, because we had Cornettos in both movies, and they said, are you going to do a trilogy? And I said, yeah, it's going to be like Christoph Kozlowski's Three Colors trilogy. It's going to be three flavors, three flavors Cornetto. And it was like a joke that stuck. But then me and Simon thought, well, hang on a second. Maybe that's not a bad idea. But here's the real truth of why there's Cornetto in, like, Hot Fuzz. That, and, and, and just so you know, it's like the only joke, it's why we don't make a big deal of that name, is it's the only joke in the US that never got a laugh, like Cornetto in the UK kind of gets a big laugh because it's, it's the weirdest thing you would want to eat at that time of the morning, on a Sunday morning. The fact that he's like, sort of, like, not even awake and that he would, I don't know what the equivalent would be, like a, um... Drumstick. Drumstick. Yeah. Uh, but also, the, the reason was is that when I was at college, I, I got very, very drunk uh, once, and I had a cornetto in the morning, and I felt a lot better. <laughs> so it became my hangover cure, uh, uh, and it still is. The strawberry ones, particularly. So, at the premiere of Shaun of the Dead, they gave out free cornettos. And then when we wrote Hot Fuzz, I said, hey, we should write in cornetto again. Maybe we'll get some free ice cream. <laughs> so that happened. Then, there was no free ice cream at the Hot Fuzz premiere. So, basically, third time lucky. <laughs> the end of the whole idea. It's sort of like a marketing research, but not. It's just completely different. But in answer to your question, the idea, because we never... Uh, really ever wanted to do a sequel to Shaun of the Dead or Hot Fuzz, but we did want to do like a thematic trilogy. It is kind of, in that way, it is similar to Christoph Kielowski. <laughs> <laughs> like, but that's the idea. So the third one is no returning characters, but it's like, you know, it's something that makes the, the other two films part of a trilogy. So it's very much in the same tone as Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz, and, uh, you know, it's set in the UK, and, uh, you know, it returns to some themes that are continue to bug me and Simon from space through Sean, through Hot Fuzz. Um, so that's the plan, basically. Terrific. And then, so do you think we should come back later? Yes, I will come back and answer some more of your questions later. <laughs> All right, so we're going to thanks for coming, and time is good. See you shortly.